Hey, this is Mark. Let me ask you something. Have you ever gone into your WordPress admin? Maybe you want to change something in your menus area, like adding stuff to the menu. So right now I only have one menu item called plugins and I'm at my pages section here. Let's add them all. So I'm going to select all pages, add to menu and something interesting happens. Only one menu item shows up from my pages. Okay, let's try something different. Let's try the posts. View all, select all posts, add to menu. Okay, we're getting the same thing. Not what I'm expecting. I'd like all my posts and all my pages added, but I'm only getting one. What about settings? So this happens, this weird problem also happens with your settings. Say um, I've got a plugin here that restricts login users to this plugin plugins menu item. I know it's a little confusing, but only administrator, editors, authors, and contributors can see this plugins menu item. What if I want to change that? Let's say I want to remove a couple, maybe only administrators see that, and let's hit save. Okay, I'll go back in, check that out. Okay, administrators worked, that's great, but let's add them back. Scroll back down, here we go. Okay, now we're getting that weird problem. I was able to remove some roles, but then when I added them back, I only got one out of the set. Uh, let's add just some random three more, just to do it one more time. Okay, still only one role getting set there when I hit save. What's causing this problem? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about it. It's called max input vars, and my site right now is exceeding that. In general, the default for your site and many sites will be 1,000. Okay, so for the when you set up a brand new WordPress site, your max input vars, which is a PHP setting for your website or web server, will be set at 1,000. And I'm seeing a lot of themes and plugin developers recommending at the minimum 3,000. So that's a pretty big change. So how can we check to make sure that's happening in your case? We can go to your WordPress admin and use something under your tools menu called Site Health. Okay, if you click on that, you'll get to the status page, but we want to go to this Info tab. So click Info. And since we know this is a server setting, we're going to scroll down to server, expand that, and we know what the name is, max input vars. I've got mine set to something ridiculously low 10 because it took me a long time to figure out, okay, I need to keep reducing it until I see this error. So I had to reproduce the error and I got it all the way down to 10. In your case, it's not going to be like that. It'll be most likely a 1,000 or 1,500. When you see that like, and you're seeing these errors, like I just reproduced, you should be able to say, okay, um, it looks like it could be this. Let's try it. Let's try to increase that. All right. But before we increase that, let us look at uh, a couple more ways to verify that this could be the problem. The other way is the error log. Okay. I cleared this out earlier, so it's going to be really small. I only have these entries in and they're all the same. But if we look at this very last one, it'll tell you exactly what's happening. I've exceeded 10 uh, for max input vars, which is in PHP any, and it's even suggesting that I increase that. All right, what's another way to do that? I do a lot of troubleshooting, and one of the plugins I use for troubleshooting is something called Query Monitor. Let's activate that. And we'll reproduce the problem. Okay, I'm back here at plugins and I just want to change some settings. I want to add some roles to see to for people to look at this plugin menu item. So I added them all, clicked on all of them, click save, and I'm seeing query monitor already complaining, tell me there's a PHP error. I'll click on that, it's gonna expand. Same thing here as we saw in the error log, the PHP error log I brought up earlier, my input variables exceeded 10. And I should increase that limit in my PHP any. And let's go back to that plugin menu item and just verify, yep, nothing happened there. And we'll see the same thing 
with pages. Maybe I want to add, let's see. Okay, let's add sample page, just one more. Okay, that added. Actually, you probably have to do multiple. Let's go to posts. View all, select all. And that should be giving us the error. We didn't see any post show up. And we're seeing that error again. Query monitor is telling us. All right. So how to fix this? So the best way to fix it is to ask your hosting provider because chances are they're going to be the only ones that can change it for you. And uh, alternatively, they could tell you if um, you're allowed to fix it yourself or change that setting yourself, they'll give you instructions. But most of the time, they're going to be the only ones to do that for you. So ask your hosting provider, but you could come to them with this information say, hey, I checked my site health or I've got query monitor and it's telling me, you know, or I even checked my error log. Here's the error log. Here's the message. Here's what I'm trying to do with my menus. Please help. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and prove that this is the problem. I'm going to change my setting right here. I know it's very low. 10 to 100. Again, yours is going to be something like 1,000. You'll set it to 3,000. Save that. I need to reboot my server, so let me do that real quick. Okay, now we're back. Let's try to reproduce the issue here with um, settings. I want to say now administrator and editor. Roles are allowed to see this menu item. So I selected those and saved. And now I see it. Okay, administrator and editor are now saved. That looks great. Awesome. Um, Let's see what's happening with posts. I got disabled links here. View all posts. Uh, let's just select all three. I might get disabled links twice, but let's see if it adds. Didn't do it before. We've tried that a couple of times. Oop, sorry, hit the wrong button. Hit save menu. Let's add to menu. And there we go. All three of them are now added. Yeah, I got two here, but that's okay. It's just a test. So that's working. That's great. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.